Hey everyone, Pokemax back with another Dollar Tree Pack Wayne video. So today I got six heavy Forbidden Light Dollar Tree Packs. And in this video, I will quickly show you how to weigh these. And then we will open them up and hopefully we will get something good. So six heavy Forbidden Light Dollar Tree Packs. These are $1.25 Canadian each. And in this video, we're going to open them all up and see if not only can we plus, but I have seen some people pull some really nice cards out of heavy Forbidden Light Packs. So hopefully we can do the same. If you're wondering how to weigh these packs it's for Forbidden Light, it's very simple. You would be looking for any packs that weigh in anywhere above 7.8 and you will start getting reverse hollows or above. Obviously, it's best to just get the heaviest packs you can find. Some of these other packs are quite heavy and hopefully will treat us quite nicely. But as you can see, I think here, this one is right on the line, 7.8. So we could get a reverse hollow or above and we will start with that one. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the lightest of the six packs weighing in at 7.80. The minimum weight needed to start pulling reverse holographics or above but before i do start opening these packs i just want to point out that four out of these six heavy packs are zygarde art pack arts so that's kind of random anyways hopefully we can get a hit in this first pack and i'm just gonna say this once at the start of this Dollar Tree pack opening. The good card is always in protected in the center there. So this is not a code card. It's just like a promo card. I'll show you that once. So the good card is protected in the center of all of the Dollar Tree packs. So you just flip one to the front and hopefully we start this with a hit. Whoa, an Ultra Beast uncommon. That's that. That's kind of a hit for a Dollar Tree pack. Pancham, just a common, and a Skidoo common card. Okay, so no reverse hollow or rare, but an uncommon Ultra Beast to start. That's not, not too bad. So, let's do... A 7.94 that is pretty heavy now I tried doing the little scratch trick for these packs but I uh, think those two may have a full art and maybe one of these ones but not this one either way I'm not very good at the scratch trick I don't know if my nails are too short or I just don't have a lot of experience doing the little scratch trick anyway 7.94 pack number two get rid of the promo card hopefully we can get something nice here one to the front okay we got a lightning energy an esper just a common card and Okay, so we started getting Reverse Hollows, Common, Binacle. So that was pretty heavy, 7.94. I thought we might get something a little bit better than just a Common Reverse Hollow. So let's grab one of these, which could possibly be a full art if I was able to do the the feeling scratch trick what was that again sorry 7.92 so just a little bit lighter Let's 
see what we get. Into the front, a Hoopa, uncommon. Rock Rough, that's actually pretty cool Rock Rough artwork. Just a common and another reverse hollow Gibble. Just a common. So that little scratch trick did not work for that pack. Maybe it will for this one. 7.93. Don't worry. We got some pretty heavy ones here. So I'm pretty sure we're going to pull something better than a reverse hollow today. One to the front. Lysandre's, Lysandre Labs, Uncommon Trainer Card, Bergmite, Common Card, and another Reverse Hollow Common Fighting Energy Card, too. That's, that's kind of strange there, right? Three Reverse Hollow Fighting Energy Type. All right, let's move on to these two really heavy packs. 7.97. All right, and I put that sticker on there because I think that the scratch trick might have worked for this pack. We're going to find out. Let's go. We need something better than a reverse hollow. At least a holographic rare. An uncommon Sligo. Sligo? Snover Common and another reverse holographic. At least this one is a rare Meow Stick. Very cool artwork. So that is the best hit so far. And we have one final pack. Hopefully, oh, I think the scale is not cut to zero. 7.97 again. So another heavy pack. Hopefully, hopefully. We get something better than a reverse holographic in this Forbidden Light Dollar Tree pack opening. Last pack magic. What can we get? An uncommon Go Goat. A Dewpider. Common card and another reverse hollow common skiddo. That is a little bit disappointing. If I'm being honest, I was hoping for something better than a reverse holographic in at least one of these heavy Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs. So I don't really know how this happened. Seems highly unlikely to pull five out of six reverse holographics and only reverse holographics. Certainly, it's never happened to me before opening Dollar Tree packs. So there wasn't a whole lot of Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs in the store, probably less than half a box. So I'm thinking, Somebody must have went in there and probably did the little scratch trick and felt for the full arts. I thought I would take a chance on some older packs and it didn't really work out for us this time. But if you like reverse holographics, then this is definitely the video for you. Leave a big old like. We will be trying this again with some Sun and Moon Lost Thunder packs that I also picked up. So hopefully we can do a little better. Watch out for that video. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And so if you are wondering if we were able to plus, not this time, each of these reverse holographics are worth about 50 cents to a dollar Canadians. We probably lost 50 cents or a quarter on each of these packs. But that's one of the best things about 
Dollar Tree packs is that they are so cheap. I still can't believe we didn't get at least one regular holographic or something. This really, truly was a reverse holographic apartheid.